Welcome to Carefree IT TV. In this tutorial, we will be talking about different kind of radio buttons checkboxes that are that are available in Microsoft Word. Uh, for, uh, we use these radio buttons and checkboxes when we try to create some kind of checklist, feedback forms, or summary, or minutes of the meeting. So let's see how we create them. I have one default feedback form created here and we will be using the radio buttons for a few of the questions. We'll be using the check boxes as well as we, I'll show you how you use the text boxes, how you create the text boxes. So let's start with the radio buttons. The difference between the radio buttons and check boxes is when you have one option to be picked out of multiple, you use radio buttons. And if you have um, multiple checkboxes, uh, multiple things that you can select uh, among the options, then we prefer to use the checkbox. So let's see how we, uh, from where do we get them? You go to File, Options, Customize button, and you see a Developer tab, which is unchecked here. If you check this, say OK it will show up here as developer. So you click the developer tab, you go into design mode. And now I'm going to create one radio button right here. So I point my mouse here and I pick up the radio button. Now I want to fill in this information so I copy this information right click on the option button I go to option button object and say edit so I can now delete this information and I can paste this information that I copied from here same way and I can reduce the size as required same way I can point on my mouse again on this option go again to radio buttons create another one copy this information go again to add it from option button object and I paste the information here And I'll have to drag it a bit so that it shows up completely. So I will delete this information. Go back to the third option. Again, pick up my radio button. Copy this. Go right click option button object and edit it. And I can delete this one. So now I have these three and I can reduce the size as required. I can move them around. So now I have these three options and if you go come out of the design mode, you can pick any of these. For the second one, we will do the exact same thing. We'll have a radio button here. Again, we go to design mode just as a refresh. We go into ActiveX controls and radio button. We copy this information. We right click option button object, add it and paste it. Now I can delete this one. I go to the second one. No. Go to ActiveX controls and pick up the radio button again. Copy this information. Right click on this option button object, add it. And I paste this one. I can resize them as required. So now if I come out of the design mode, I can select one of these. Now you will be noticing that we have only one option available for us so I in between these two questions I can't pick up uh, different answers for these this question as well as this question the reason being they all belong to the same group 
So now I will show you how you create groups and uh, different options will belong to that particular group. So I go to the first one, right click. And before that, I'll have to go back to the design mode. I right click and go to the properties this time. So I have a group name as blank. Let's put uh, a name here. I'll just call it services. I pick up the second one and I'll keep the group name same for all the radio buttons that will pick up one answer. For example, very satisfied, somewhat satisfied and dissatisfied. Uh, a user can pick only one among these three options. So I will have all these three with the same group name. So I'll type in again services. And for this one also, we will have the same name as services. So I have first one as services, second one as services, and third one as services. I close my properties button and I come out of the design mode now. Now I can pick one among these three and either one of these. Same thing we do when we have multiple questions and you want to uh, use the radio buttons multiple times for every option you will have their properties uh, their properties set for the group name again i'll go to the design mode right click go to the properties and i'll name it as recommend and i go to the second one Again, I name this group as recommend and we close the properties. We come out of the design mode. Now I can pick up one option among the first and either one among these two. Let's go to the third option. Here we have, uh, we want the user to type in Uh, his comments so we can pick up the text box here and you can expand it so if you come out of the design mode you can have the user type in for example okay now we will be seeing how we can add the check boxes Again, we have these five options and a uh, user can pick up multiple here. In this uh, part, we were picking up only one option. So user only had the option to pick one. Here, user we can provide user with the multiple options that he can pick among these five options. So we go again to the design mode. And this time we are picking up the check boxes. We do right exact same thing. We copy our message and we right click, go to the checkbox object and change the property name to our services. It's not showing up. So we will need to increase the size here. For the second one, we can go to the checkbox again, copy our information and edit the name of this checkbox to the information that has been copied. Same thing for the third one. We copy this. We go to the start, pick up the checkbox, right click, checkbox object and say edit and we paste this information and we drag this just in case it doesn't show up completely. Our location, doing the exact same thing. We pick up the checkbox, right click, check, checkbox option, add it, and we added this information.
and we come out of the design mode now if you see i can pick up multiple options here so if we have radio buttons we can pick up only one option and if you have check boxes you can use multiple options at a time and that was all about today's tutorial thank you for watching our tutorial this week stay tuned for our next how to tip next week till then have a great week ahead